The devastating epidemic of jaundice in the year 1956 in Delhi, which distressed the nation on a large scale, called for an urgent need for establishing a research institute on public health in this country. Rising to the occasion, the engineers and scientists of CSIR established Safari, the Central Public Health Engineering Research Institute, in the year 1958, under the dynamic leadership of Sri N. V. Modak, then chairman of the Public Health Engineering Research Committee of CSIR as its founder-director. As the institute progressed accentuating the national priorities of urban and rural areas, the scope and mandate of Safari also advanced towards new horizons. Realizing the need for a broader vision, Srimati Indira Gandhi, the then Prime Minister of India and President CSIR, during her first visit to the institute on the 2nd of January 1974, renamed Safari as NIRI, the National Environmental Engineering Research Institute. It has a decisive origin and a distinctive past that encompasses the entire vistas of R&D in the field of environmental engineering, science and technology, with its headquarters at Nagpur and five zonal centers located at Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Mumbai. The concern for a sustainable future is more than just a fond hope. It is the vision and the mission that has transformed NIRI from a specialized research institute into an active partner in protecting the future. A future that is threatened by polluted air by putrid water in poisoned rivers and lakes, on denuded land and sterile soil. Niri is striving hard to provide scientific solutions that will sustain life on Earth tomorrow. Niri is proud to have achieved significant breakthroughs doing in-depth studies of air, water, land and forests in correcting the problems of yesterday finding solutions for today and giving sustainable technologies for tomorrow. Exhaustive data on air quality monitoring of metropolitan cities of India has empowered NIRI to help maintain the air quality standards for delineation of air pollution management plans on a national level. Confound air quality in urban cities is the prime suspect affecting general health of species with chemicals and toxic trace metals found beyond acceptable limits in the air. Stringent actions on NIRI's recommendations based on source apportionment studies have helped the government in suggesting remedial measures to keep the air clean. Constant interactions between the Central Pollution Control Board and its allied state units, NIRI has been helpful not only in generating a national database on air quality, but also in the implementations of various remedial measures to provide clean air nationwide. Scientific analytical equipment designed and developed at NIRI, such as air samplers, organic vapor samplers, and respirable dust samplers are being used extensively by NIRI and various research organizations for their accuracy and simplified workability in the assessment of air quality. Committed to societal aspirations, NIRI scientists have come forward to provide solutions on water quality assessment and purification. Be it field testing of arsenic or iron removal, defluoridation by the Nalgonda technique, or simple slow sand filtration. The journey of scientific research with simple technologies by NIRI has helped the people of remote areas in a candid way. In the recent floods at Barmer in Rajasthan, 
Niri was called in to provide quick solutions to purify water for drinking purposes. The Niri Char technique provided big relief to the poor local population. Recycling of resources for environmental conservation is perhaps one of the most sought after solutions based on principles of better management. Wastewater treatment of industrial effluents or municipal wastewater. Solutions by Neri are front runners all over. Many such CETPs designed and developed by Neri for all types of industries is indeed an achievement par excellence. Be it for textiles, leather tanneries, municipal corporations, fertilizers or petroleum refineries. If there is a problem, Neri has a solution which is clean, green and sustainable. In collaboration with Moil, Manganese or India Limited, Neri has successfully revegetated mine spoil dumps to lush green forests in a short span, using bioremediation so much so that the animals and bird species from neighboring areas have started migrating to otherwise a barren, stripped mine soil dump at Gumgaon. Neri's technology has equally worked wonders for iron mine spoil dumps, zinc tailing sites and coal mines, all changed into exuberant forests bringing back the glory of nature. With a firm belief in bioremedial solutions for environmental care, various studies have been conducted at Neri, such as bioremediation of chemically contaminated as well as silt-affected agricultural land at Kandla and Goa, respectively. The development of chemo-biochemical processes for treatment of industrial emissions. Deodorization of industrial emission of pyridine and chlorobenzyne. An integrated green chemistry-based biotechnological approach for the treatment of high organic containing wastewater from the food industry finding solutions for the safe disposal of hazardous waste. Neri has successfully developed the protocol for Zwari Industries for the safe disposal of hazardous waste containing arsenic. And the search goes on with the wisdom of light. When the judiciary needs the facts to provide judgment, when industry needs processes for remedial measures, when the civic authorities need wastewater treatment plants to save precious water, and when the nation needs clean air, potable water, thick forest, and a self-sustained environment, Neri stands tall and firm. Neri is also actively involved in the area of atmospheric brown cloud, ABC, and its impact on water resources. At NIRI, we strive hard to provide impact assessment for proposed developmental plans encompassing gigantic mountains to endless seas. Setu Samudram, a prestigious EIA study document that is not only environmental friendly, but will also save precious time and money for the shipping trade. NIRI has carried out more than 100 such EIA studies varying from petroleum, coal, energy, chemicals, fertilizers, minerals, pharmaceuticals, and the list goes on. Kalpasar is another prestigious project in Gujarat that envisages freshwater conservation is a subject for detailed scope of EIA studies conducted by Neri recently. Looking at new vistas to understand nature better, experiments at Neri are on to develop environmental genomics for precision in understanding and combating the
the environmental intricacies of nature. Detection and concentration of E. coli and human enteric viruses based on PCR and gene probe has been successfully developed at NIRI where more than 1,050 bacteria from isolates have been identified leading to the creation of a culture bank with the help of 16S R DNA sequence data. Exploring further on the same principle, NIRI has developed a genomic tool to monitor subtle impacts caused by the industrial development that may have long-term effects and can be monitored at the microbial level using selected genomic tools. The growing population in India has indeed given us strength. But this also leads towards huge production of solid waste. Efficient management and safe disposal being the prime focus, the Solid Waste Management Division has spread its wings in developing a GIS or Geographical Information System based approach for large localities. It has also developed a two-phase biomethanation approach. Exploring new horizons, NIRI's research to find environmental friendly materials has resulted in the development of novel functionalized materials for carbon dioxide captured from flue gases, nanostructured zeolites for artificial photosynthesis vis-a-vis -vis control of greenhouse gases, which will result in an alternate route for non-renewable energy sources and will allow sunlight harnessing for environmental applications. Mathematical modeling of environmental systems using state-of-the-art hardware and software at NIRI is one of the very important tools in evolving a solution for environmental management. Scientists at NIRI have developed GIS-based computational software for prediction studies of different environmental pollutants. Remote sensing satellite image analysis tools are also extensively employed by NIRI for land use analyses and planning. Some future areas of research at NIRI include development of digital water quality monitors and membrane technology for wastewater recycle and reuse. NIRI has recently bagged some of the prestigious national and international projects with agencies like IOCL, NTPC, Kalpasar, WHO, EPA and ALCOA of the United States. Team NIRI is marching ahead with full vigor and vitality under its present leadership towards achieving sustainable development.